Hi everyone, it's Friday, August 27th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KATC News Brief. By nightfall tomorrow night, uh, you need to be where you intend to ride out the storm. Louisiana is under a state of emergency and state leaders are working to make sure everyone is safe before, during and after the storm. The governor says President Biden has approved a pre-landfall emergency declaration and the National Weather Service out with a dire warning when it comes to Hurricane Ida. This is stronger than Laura from last year. This will be a life altering storm for those who aren't prepared and ready to take uh, what Ida is going to throw at us later this weekend. As Ida moves into the Gulf of Mexico, school districts across Acadiana are already closing schools on Monday. Right now, every school district in Acadiana is closed Monday. All schools in the Diocese of Lafayette are closed except for Sacred Heart and Ville Platte. And UL, SLCC, and LSU, those campuses are all closed Monday. Because of Hurricane Ida, Saturday's New Orleans Saints preseason game against the Arizona Cardinals has been canceled ahead of the storm. And we're hearing from many of you about the challenges of not going into panic mode. So we reached out to Marie Collins with Family Tree in Lafayette. She says if you find yourself getting to that point, take a step back or find someone to talk to. Children tend to mimic our feelings, so the best thing we can do is remain calm in front of them. And if you are having a hard time finding ways to talk to your children about hurricanes, there are options. And, you know, you can find YouTube videos. There's library books that you can check out that reads that you can read to them about what a hurricane is, how it works. And it's age appropriate. It's little books. And so they, they think they're just hearing a story, but they are getting that message. And let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo tracking the latest on Hurricane Ida. Hey, Rob. Yeah, hey, Jim. Ida getting better organized throughout our Friday. And as of taping time here, uh, getting better organized is beginning to clear western Cuba. And we have been watching the convection blowing up. And this means this is going to be a very powerful hurricane expected to at least be a Category 4 storm with 140 mile per hour winds prior to landfall. Then after landfall, it will weakened down to a category one, a strong one, or maybe a two as it reaches the I-10 quarter. Landfall still expected somewhere between St. Mary Parish and Terrebonne, maybe Lafouche Parishes as we head into late Sunday evening, Sunday night, overnight Monday with the storm exiting the area, we think as we head into a Monday afternoon. So that it'll take a while uh, to get out of here. Hurricane warnings in effect for most of Acadiana, and that means hurricane conditions will be possible within about 48 hours near term scattered showers and thunder showers overnight through tomorrow a good day to prepare for your hurricane that will be coming this way as we head into Sunday afternoon and evening Sunday night and the system exiting the area on Monday with hurricane conditions likely for a good portions of Acadiana stay with KTC KTC.com social media and uh, uh, the KTC weather app for the very latest on this very dangerous storm.